hello. It has been so long. I don't even know if this still is still this thing is still working. Um, I guess I'm gonna see in a minute if stuff is if I'm gonna show up on the screen. I don't know. Anywho, ah, here I am. So today I'm going to be painting on um, these. My Little Pony planters, they're actually, you can plant uh, flowers in here or plants. Um, they have a hole in the bottom. My husband 3, 3D printed this with this awesome resin, uh, not resin, <laughs> filament, 3D printing filament. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, color shifting filament. This is what came up first, but it has all these little lines and some texture to it. So, oh no, sorry about that. Scam likely is calling me. Not cool, scam likely. Uh, so, anyway, uh, these will be um, gifts for, for a teenager. So, um, I was thinking they totally need eyes. So that's what we're gonna do today. I think I'm gonna start with the little one. The big one will be the gift, but the little one, I'm gonna start by testing uh, my idea out on that and see how that goes. So I'm using Arteza Craft Paint. This goes well over, over plastic and really don't like these bottles. They're such a pain in, in the butt to open. It has been a while since I streamed. I have been kind of occupied painting. Uh, oh, let me just fix it. Focus. I've been um, occupied painting a mural, so that was much fun. And it took about, it was my largest mural ever to date um, as a commission. And it took about a month and a half to do. It wasn't like a non stop painting, it was, uh, I had some half days and stuff like that but uh, it's definitely the biggest mural commission to date so I have a uh, black here maybe I'll put the black in the middle no I'll put the black in here <laughs> sometimes you have to shake it down because the paint is thick and uh, I'm gonna look up, and then I have some white here that I'll have to shake down too. I don't think I'll need much white. All right, let me. Anyway, uh, let me look up a little My Little Pony. Uh, okay, so this is pretty much what we're going for. Kind of like that, only realistic. So let's see what we're gonna do. <coughs> Time out for 10 minutes so it doesn't keep going to sleep. All right, let's do this. Mm. Maybe I'll take you a little closer. Bring you closer. 
Okay, and then lock it. So this is the test, the test dummy. I want the eyes to not be mm, too bright, you know, because the white of the eyes is never really white. It's more like an off-white. If you do that, then it will be more realistic. <laughs> Ciao, mama. <laughs> My mom just texted me with a question. She said, is this the flower of life? <laughs> and then she texted me saying, oh, relax, I saw you were live. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a... A heck of a season. It has been so long since I've been here in this studio. Uh, well, my studio, let me just preface it by saying that my studio is this uh, Tetris looking space. <laughs> it's kind of like a Rubik's Cube, you know, you only have one, one move and you have to shift everything around. When you need to move something, then everything gets shifted. So uh, it's been quite the mess. And uh, I spent some time yesterday cleaning it up. And now it finally, I can finally sit down. And now we can start adding a little bit of white. But um, yeah, don't you agree that handmade gifts are the best gifts? Handmade. Well, not necessarily handmade, but homemade, homemade gifts. Because I wouldn't put really, I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into 3D printing, but it's not handmade per se. It's more like strategically built. built. I've been missing this music too. I don't really listen to music much when I'm not in here in the studio. So most often I just listen to books, which I love. Okay, and then let me do that on the other side too. Now the hardest part will be symmetry for me. Symmetry is always the hardest. Ah, let me show you the colors that I'm blending here. So I'm blending this koala gray from Arteza with this pink, what is it, uh, mulberry pink. And uh, so that's what I'm putting on the edges, right on the sides.
And I know this isn't really necessarily fine art. And I do have some uh, projects actually that I need to be finishing. I have a couple of paintings that I promised my students that I'll, <laughs> that I'll finish them at home and send them the video and I just never got around to it. But I'm hoping maybe next stream, maybe next stream I'll finish those two paintings. They're quite pretty. Uh, one is very autumnal and the other one is very um, wintry. I don't know what the proper word for that is. Um, I forget. Let me know what it is. It also ends in urnal. Um, something with V? I don't remember. Viernal? Vernal? Might have to take a look soon. If Alexa was right here, I would have said. Would have proclaimed my ignorance <laughs> the whole world yeah I can see that I'm gonna need to put a couple of layers because I can see the pattern underneath there hi <laughs> I thought it was the dogs be more generous with this paint here. much because I don't want to water it down so I'm really trying to blend it um, maybe even get it in the in the texture here in the crevasses in the crevices This is just a test one anyway. We'll see how this looks. And then if it looks good, we'll do the same on the other one. If not, I'm gonna change our strategy. How the weather is where you are but here in Pennsylvania it's very um, very rainy today drab and rainy okay and then after doing this let me get the blue. I think I'll do a blue, purple, purple, blue. Or should I do different colors um, according to the... That, that could be interesting. You know what? Let's do that. Do blue, green on this side. And then over here we can do uh, pinkish, uh, yellow, yellowy, uh, like orangey, magenta. That'd be neat. 
Let me get some green. Have the green here. I'm gonna use forest green or apple green. Which one should I use? I think the apple actually. Apple green. Apple bottom jeans. <laughs> All right, let me get some tea. I just made myself some tea because I was so cold because I had a smoothie this morning. Bad choice, bad choice. I haven't had smoothies in a while because it started getting cold. And uh, I thought it wouldn't be wise, but today uh, I froze a lot of bananas. Hmm. Because the bananas started to get soft. And so I have so many bananas in the freezer now. And I thought I should eat some. I should make myself some smoothie. If that's what I use them for. But, uh, I'm very cold. Okay. Let's just try to make this as round as possible. black on that blue on the top darken it as as it would be natural now from the shadow make it look more Realistic. Maybe I should have made the pupil a little bigger. I think I'll do that. Let me make that. The iris, I mean, the iris. spend much time looking at horses eyes or ponies eyes but they have very different pupil than humans have it's horizontal it's quite weird and it has all sorts of textures it's very neat actually very neat if you have a chance look at a horse's eyes like a macro of horse's eyes, like a whole universe in there. Very cool. So let's just darken the top a little bit and then I'm going to go in this, uh, uh, in this color here and darken that a little bit. I want to darken the, the sclera at the top here. be cool if we can do a little bit of blending 
here, you know, because that, that area where the iris meets the sclera or the conjunctiva, the white part, it's kind of blended. Very diffuse. Mm. I don't know. Let's let's get some more white. White and bluish towards the front. Bluish white towards the front and a little bit redder towards the edges. That's what eyes are like generally I don't even know if you can hear me there we go let's do that this ornament as if it's <laughs> as if it's something trying to get away I don't need to grip it so hard let me just make the pupil just so that I know where it is and then I can color the iris give it a coat of gloss all right let's start adding some brighter blues Mm -hmm. 
Add a lightest highlight over here. <sighs> All right, let's lighten up the that white part a little bit. If we can, of course, we can. We can do anything. just uh, turn my notifications off how do I do that notifications uh. ciao mama <laughs> ciao mama Oh, hey, Clara. <coughs> <coughs> when did you slip in? I didn't see the... Uh, just now? How are you doing? Long time. Long time. I'm painting a... Uh, my little pony figurine. It's actually a planter. A little planter for uh, my nephew. Uh, Apparently he's into my little pony stuff, so we're, we're making him a gift. Now this is just a test to see how it goes, and then this is the actual gift, which is a bit bigger. And then we're gonna put a nice planter in here, a plant. <laughs> so that's what's happening. You're juicing. Nice. That's cool. What uh, what fruit? Are you using to make juice? It's very healthful. Wow, big bag of oranges and a pomegranate. Cool. I used to have a juicer, but I stopped using it because the whole cleanup <laughs> was such a big pain. The cleanup and then the having all the leftover dry stuff I guess you can make you can make uh, some sort of <laughs> yeah this filament is really cool it's color shifting filament so when it prints it, it uh, shifts from one color to the other and in this one actually um, these lines were not desirable necessarily so that's why my husband made another one. This one is a little bit better. You can still see a little bit of, you know, 3D printing texture there, but what can you do? At, uh, at least there's not as many lines, but uh, <laughs> the cleanup is terrible. Yeah. But then does the juice stay fresh for that long? Because I'm thinking if you... Uh, Doesn't it go a little bit stale? Okay, so I'm thinking I'm making different color eyes for this one just to see what it'll look like. Maybe for the other one I'll just do blue and slightly green. But this one is shifting from blue-green to yellow magenta. So I'm going to grab my yellow and do... Um, do a yellow magenta on that side. Uh, 
this paint bottles are so messy to open. How have you been, Clara? If you put it in sealed containers, that's good. Might depend on the fruit, yeah. It's been so long since I've been social. <laughs> it's actually been nice. It's been nice to not have to <sighs> be on social all the time, but at the same time, I kind of miss it, you know? You, you take a break and then, and then you get over it. But, gotta get back into it, right? Otherwise people forget about you and you can't have that. <laughs> it's nice to hang out though. I've been missing the, the live streams. I was thinking, oh, we might, I might do a live stream on the weekend, but weekends don't work for me because all I want to do on the weekend is rest and, and do family stuff and clean up the house and that kind of stuff, you know, maintenance. And uh, it's just different when, when you're single, you don't have as much, you know, to to do, <laughs> to be accounted for. <laughs> oh, thanks, Clara. I missed hanging out too. And uh, I'll be doing more, more, uh, artistic stuff like next next time I want to finish a couple of paintings that I started but uh, I really need to get these painted by by Sunday because we're gonna do the gift exchange on Sunday do a little family gathering for Hanukkah so these need to get done Yeah, you have to, you have to keep time, some time for yourself. Otherwise it's all go, go, go. And then what's the point? I've been really enjoying seeing your your beer art. It's very fun. I like the beer art. Just darkening this a little bit so that I can put that color up here. with two colors but uh, so it's just for play <coughs> yeah collaboration that's very fun yeah you should make more mm, good tea I want to start. I, well, I want to start doing uh, resin, resin crafts. I'm very excited. I've got some ideas in mind. You know, uh, organ, organ pyramids, Clara, like organite energy and stuff like that. It's very, it's very cleansing and purifying, and it absorbs, you know, 
presumably it absorbs i mean it, it has been tested and and measured like the energy can be measured uh, it can absorb negative energy and stuff especially from emfs <laughs> yeah it's basically a collaboration <laughs> it's fun so uh yeah i want to do some i want to do some organite pyramids i'm very excited i'm getting my resin um so you know about resin like uh, epoxy resin they make all sorts of crafts and stuff with it but um, the organite the organ pyramids are basically a combination of resin metal and crystals so that's the very basic uh, structure of an organite and it works by attracting negative energy that's the resin because that's the organic compound in it and uh, the metal transmits it very well and then the crystals cleanse it and purify it and then they uh, it also sends it back out so it's supposed to protect from uh, radiation and all sorts of stuff like that so I have been wanting to do that for a while. Is my is my head cut off or Oh no, that's fine. Yeah. Just need some time. Maybe I should put some white. This is quite transparent. difficult to do this small scale <laughs> small scale is not my strong suit I like doing large scale it's less finicky although there are details too in a large mural but <clears throat> the pupil you can still see yes they tested it with rats ah huh let me let me know what you read and what you find out I have not read that study I've basically been watching this guy on YouTube he seems very uh, experienced. He's been making organ pyramids for for like 20 years. And he seems like a very nice guy. Like a very, you know, like the energy that he, he sends out seems very wholesome. And very beneficent, benevolent. It also seems very knowledgeable so I haven't read any tests or anything or studies but I've been watching the guy that's that's all I've done, I done. <laughs> but you know how it is Clara, like some things you can test and some things are beyond even what the scientists can measure, you know, as such. Some things are intuitively felt and experienced and cannot be measured, but uh, they did, you know, you can measure with like... Hey, Rob! <laughs> Rob the dragon. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, thanks. Gonna do a bark drawing. Nice. 
So, so what, uh, what did the rats, did they benefit from the pyramid? I mean, you know, agreed. <laughs> yeah, cool. So did they find that uh, it worked? Did they find some measurable uh, results? I'd be interested. Because I know he was saying that they measure by... What's the word? Um, use a pendulum. Dowsing, I think. Dowsing. <laughs> Do you have a... Are you a wood turner, Rob, too? Cause that would be cool. That would be cool. Multi-talented artist here. Aww. See? <laughs> yeah, so I do want... I, I actually wanted to make these kind of pyramids for for the holidays. It all started by... I, I went to my mother-in-law's house and she had an organ pyramid. And I remembered that I wanted to make them for a while. And I'm like, oh, I wanted to make these. Of course, hers wasn't as cool as I, you know, intend to make them myself, but... And then my sister-in-law, she says, oh yeah, I totally want one. And that really got me excited. <laughs> that got me excited. But I, I didn't have time to do it in time for the holidays, unfortunately. Ah, well, it's a good place to be, Rob. It's a good place to be a beginner beginner's mind is an open mind it can learn a lot faster than people who have been doing this for a longer time you're in a good company though with Lewis and the discord group and the <clears throat> the twitch group you're very nice people did you find Lewis through Twitch? Through his Twitch videos? I think that was a very good move of Lewis to, to start streaming on Twitch. All right, let me just... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Apparently my... Nothing, nothing important. <laughs> Let me lighten up. Uh, so, uh, since you guys came a little later, uh, I'm using the Arteza paints. They are craft paints, so they go really well on, on plastic and stuff. I wouldn't use... They are acrylics, but not the artist acrylics that I would use for a canvas. These are probably a little stickier, uh, a little better to paint on wood and glass and plastic. They're also very flat, very matte. Uh, but after, after I do this, I'm going to give them a, a glossy varnish so that they are shiny like an eye ball would be. Yeah, a little bit of highlight is good here. I don't think I'm gonna add any veins. <laughs> ah, you found Louis through YouTube. Yeah. So you like his, uh, his sense of humor. That's why I'm sticking with Louis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and everybody's really nice and very knowledgeable and very you know like open to learning new things very down to earth and you know real yeah did you look on his website did you look on his website at all the art that he's he has painted in the past? He's painted some amazing like uh, Bible stuff, uh, you know, Mary and 
and Jesus and all of that sort of uh, spiritual art. Very beautiful. It's very um, meticulous. Very careful. It takes his time. <clears throat> oh, he knows that. He knows. It, it is all in his head already. It's amazing that it doesn't implode. <laughs> he knows that. That's his genius. <laughs> oh, thanks. Is it is this? I don't know how um, focused this camera is. If it's focusing on the right places. Thank you. I really do like painting guys though. I wouldn't say that these are my best eyes I've ever done, but maybe they look so you know sometimes things look better through a camera than in real life. <laughs> and I'm not sure whether to add the shine on them or to or to just let the gloss do its thing. You know, I'll do the gloss and then... And then I'll... Uh, if I need to, I can put highlight over the, over the varnish too. Um, yeah, he critiqued Clara's work and he also critiqued my work. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> the portraits oh my gosh today so the other day I wanted to put some videos in my computer and I realized that my uh, my art hard drive <laughs> yeah yeah it's very very helpful uh, so I saw that my art um, hard drive my videos hard drive was was red it was like almost full like oh my god it's a 10 terabyte <laughs> 10 terabyte hard drive and it's it's almost full completely I got so scared because my husband's gonna yell at me <laughs> so I started deleting stuff that weren't as important like I don't really need these things anyway so now I'm back to not red, which is great. Uh, so I can put more stuff in now. <laughs> okay, let me make... If you would critique my art, <laughs> not be so kind. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you need to ask Louis that. He's pretty blunt. And yeah, it's not that he's blunt, but you know what? Sometimes he he texts me. He's like, Laura, your I don't want to be mean, but your thumbnail sucks. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, I know it sucks. I did not have good lighting when I took the picture, and I don't think I ever will because of the positioning of where it is. Like, you deserve better, your art is better, you deserve a better thumbnail. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, he he wants to be helpful. It's like tough love. <clears throat> Burn my ass to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he will... You will burn your ass to the ground, don't worry. Alright. I think I'm gonna let these dry for a bit. 
Maybe. You know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of... A little bit of eyelid. Let's do a little bit of eyelid. Uh, let's do pink and gray, right? Pink and gray eyelid. Mostly pink this time. <laughs> Black girl and my swan painting. Ooh, nice. Do you have your art uh, on the social media, Rob? You have Instagram and uh, or Facebook? <laughs> yeah, gotta have thick skin and just remember that Lewis is the tough love kind of guy. He'll say what he'll say, but it's all in uh, with the intention of helping. He always wants people to be the best version of themselves. So cliche, but it's true. I mean, and he sees potential in people, you know, and I'm always you know, it's very sweet how he he helps Gentian and and Harry and all the youngsters that come and the support, you know, and the encouragement. It's so nice to see. Very sweet. Okay, so this is kind of the ah, and then I have to line up the the top and. Uh, I'm gonna grab this very beautiful, this very beautiful uh, paintbrush. This must be my absolutely favorite paintbrush ever, ever. It's um, the number zero from Golden Taclon. It's a script liner. I really like script liners because they make such um, thin lines. So let me just try to soothe my shaky hand and, and stop talking happening camera got to focus you have facebook but not much art on there Rob Bennett. Oh, would love to hear you speak, Rob Bennett. <laughs> You're only now ready to learn art because... Ah, uh, well, seeing values is the first very... I think actually it's the foundation of art. Like values, if you know values and you learn how to make comparisons and um, and see the relationship between objects. I think those two qualities, those two skills are the most important in art. Like to see the, the relationship between uh, objects. When I say objects, they can be like a nose and a lips. Just the places on a face and values those are the very most important because you can make a beautiful monochromatic uh, artwork with just black and white 
and that's how most people learn the best because then you learn light and shadow and once you learn that really I mean all of everything is the play between light and shadow within without light there wouldn't be anything so it's all light and shadow and then color just comes as a afterthought the cherry on the cake there now it has a little <laughs> eyeliner should it have eyeliner on the bottom <laughs> Jordy <laughs> I'll have to look that up I don't know what that is a Jordy hmm All right, let's put this aside. Uh, let it dry, or is it dry enough to put? I'll let it dry for a minute, and then I'll varnish it. And let's do this big guy, the big guy, which is actually the the actual gift. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so let me just do the same with the uh, do the white first, white and gray, and a little bit of pink towards the outside of the eye. gonna need a couple coats so. you're going back to juicing okay <laughs> You can juice oranges and pomegranates. You guys have plans for the holidays? Are you doing family stuff or? celebrating Hanukkah this uh, Sunday with family Sam's family <laughs> Jack has in white lotus I don't know white lotus Driving to Texas for Christmas. Ooh. <laughs> you helped your wife wrap Christmas presents. Nice. Very cool. I wrapped some. Uh, now we gotta do that tomorrow. Um, my husband is actually printing, doing 3D printing uh, gifts for most, most uh, of the family. And uh, so another thing that they did with, because uh, then I, you know how you just start watching something and you go down the rabbit hole of all things, pyramids and resin and stuff. And then uh, I saw these gorgeous pyramids this lady's doing on YouTube. Uh, and it was, it wasn't an organ pyramid, but it was just a regular pyramid, a resin pyramid and it was a lamp so she put light in there 
but it was a mem memorial and it had um, a transparent photo of her dad and then she put lights in there and it oh, came out so beautiful so I, I was thinking of doing that for my father-in-law because my mother-in-law just passed away a couple months ago and I was thinking that might be nice but uh, I just don't think that I'll have time and well I don't have my resin yet so <laughs> And then it wouldn't have dried. And also trying to get something done nice, you know, without without uh, exercising, like practicing for a little bit. I don't want to put so much pressure on myself. Um, murder mystery TV show that takes place in a resort. Hmm, never, never heard of it. Never heard of it. Not worried to make this I too necessarily too round. We'll get there. We'll round it out. That's why I like uh, acrylic so much that you can paint over. I mean, oil too. You can paint with oil over too. We recently watched, I don't know, we watched a couple of good movies recently. Uh, one of them was called See How They Run. Uh, it's with Sam Rockwell and I don't know the names of the other characters, but it was a pretty good movie. It was very funny. Um, also a mur murder mystery. It's kind of like whodunit uh, murder mystery. Very entertaining. And... <laughs> I'll, I'll take a look Rob uh, I know I just I just watched a video today of, of, of a while ago that I made I'm like oh my god <laughs> when you look back you're like I can't believe I did that like dancing on a whoring for YouTube <laughs> Yeah, it can be pretty awkward in the beginning, I agree. It takes a while, see? You need that thick skin to not care what people think so much. But um, I was talking about good movies lately. So another funny movie, good movie that we watched is... And Clara, you might you might know this because you're quite a modern, modernist. Um, Bullet Train? Have you seen Bullet Train? So many names in it, like so many celebrities. It's got Brad, Brad Pitt, it's got... Um, what's her name? Sandra Bullock has um, very briefly... Um, I don't know, another handsome young guy, I forget his name. Uh, a whole bunch of celebrities. And uh, it was so funny, very entertaining, very suspenseful. I, I, we actually watched it with, with my daughter. She freaking loved it. I can't believe it. Very, very foul mouthed. And she loved it. She's like, ah, oh, it's the best movie I've ever seen. That movie is awesome. I'm like, wow. She's so, I wouldn't have thought that she could. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Rob. <laughs> it's it's Romanian. It's Romanian. I can't hear it anymore. I really can't. I don't think I ever could, but now when I listen to videos, when I listen to myself talk, like in a recording, I might get a hint of an accent, but but I can't really hear it. Sometimes if I would get, you know, like, um, the opposite of sober, then it gets a little thicker. <laughs> it's not American. Oh, I didn't watch it, Clara. I gotta tell Sam to, to, to get it. 
or where where is it? <laughs> is it on Netflix or HBO? Well, we have to get it. You're so close. <laughs> I'll take Norwegian. I'll take Norwegians. <laughs> Amazon Ah, Amazon Prime Okay Oh, then Yeah, we might have to buy it and Sure Keep forgetting. Is it like something uh, to watch? Oh, well, maybe we can watch it by ourselves. And if it's child appropriate, we'll watch it with Amethyst. Or do you think it's child appropriate, Clara? Let me add a little bit of black up there. Child appropriate, cool. We'll watch then. I mean, she's not really a child so much anymore. She's almost 15 now. <laughs> Basically going on 30. Intense, good. We like intense. Intense is good. Better intense than boring, right? We like movies that aren't uh, you know, the norm, not the cliches that you've seen so many times. Okay, it's time to, time to lighten it up. Maybe just use this lighter blue to lighten it up. <laughs> there were a lot of dildo jokes at one point. <laughs> I mean, as long as they don't show how to use them, I think we're okay. I don't think I would like to see a tutorial on how to use a dildo either. But uh, I'm pretty sure that kids this age know what what they are. Maybe, unfortunately, a little more better than, not more better, but maybe even better than adults. Some adults. Definitely me. <laughs> you know, we all have our interests you know just till those were never one of mine <laughs> uh, maybe we'll watch it first then and <laughs> I don't know I'm not sure Ah. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll we'll have to watch it. Clara, keep me accountable. If if I haven't watched it by next time I stream and you ask me again, you got to shame me, okay? <laughs> you got to shame me for not being a person of my word.
But yeah, take a look at Bullet Train if if you're interested, because that's a funny movie. I think we watched it. Was it? It must have been either HBO or Netflix. <laughs> It will <laughs> your favorite movie this year probably ever wow that's that's saying a lot okay all right Clara I'll, I'll definitely watch it if it's such that's a big thing to be your favorite movie this year probably ever that's big I'm adding a little bit of green to this because there's a little bit of green surrounding here. Not a lot, just a hint. I want to add some darker. This, uh, Paint is definitely kind of, uh, it's matte, so, f um, but chalky. It's a bit chalky. So it doesn't really blend very well, especially, well, because it dries very fast. And uh, it gets right deep in the grooves here. I do want to add some different textures in this eye, make it look a little more, a little more natural. <laughs> Merci, mama. Pictez o... A, cum îi zice? A, poți să pui, să plantezi flori sau a, sau plante aici. E cadou pentru Jason. I was just saying to my mom that she, she asked, what are you painting so pretty? And I said, I'm painting a planter for my nephew. He likes these, uh, he, he's going through a My Little Pony face, uh, you know. I don't judge. Try not to judge, especially out loud, so whatever. Go, all going through weird faces. Nu știu ce vrei să zici, mama. Duduice, nu știu ce. <laughs> Lucia is such a beautiful name. Zica Lucia e uh, nume frumos.
frumos means beautiful. <laughs> means beautiful. Center that. I need to center this uh, pupil, make it a little bit bigger. this music okay it's it's almost it's almost okay we'll give it some more layers I'll just let it dry for a little bit and go back <laughs> all right let's do this eye gray and white you know i really love these uh ceramic the ceramic dish and i have uh those stacking dishes too ceramic is so much easier to paint to clean up than than plastic or anything else the paint just comes right off it's awesome like i used to have uh these plastic palette thingies but now these are so much better however I don't know what kind of paint I had in one of them that is having very difficult time coming out one out of six is just really dried on I don't know what was in there what kind of paint Plug in my my phone. Otherwise, we're gonna stop seeing me soon. Where is it? There we go. Okay. So I, I stopped talking about it. Um, so I wanted to make um, the memorial pyramid, but then as I ran out of time, so my husband is making these uh, uh, pictures. They're like, um, I, I forget. You know how you get, <laughs> I forget the word. Uh, um, when you get, uh, um, so they're kind of like uh, sculpted in relief and they let light go through and 
uh, you can see an actual picture, very detailed. I forget what it's called. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try to remember. But anyway, he's 3D printing some of those. Uh, lamps with pictures of the family. I think I'll just go with one color on this this one, just go with the uh, blue eyes. Maybe I'll make them slightly greener on this side. <laughs> so my mom said to tell you guys that in Romania <laughs> the people are very beautiful and talented and they have a very kind soul and the country is beautiful. It's very dreamlike. Very true. Very dreamlike country, very beautiful and people are are nice for the most part. You know. <laughs> Drawing casts of ancient sculpture develops good taste. <laughs> yeah. It does. It's good to Yeah, and uh, sculpture when you paint after a sculpture you're painting uh, values basically it really helps you see the shapes and the relationship between the shapes and how the light shines on and how the the shadow uh, is cast and that really helps uh, very good foundational learning Lithograph? Lithophane? Lithophane, that's it. Lithophane. Oh, there are... There are... Uh, mountains, the Carpathian Mountains. Right... It's like an L. And Transylvania is right in the middle, right... It's like... The Carpathian Mountains are holding up Transylvania in their hand. Very beautiful. And... Uh, I went skiing there. You can go skiing. Very beautiful mountains. My mom says that who who visits Romania once will definitely return. And not to mention life is well it used to be. I think now it's getting a little bit more expensive as it is, as it is everywhere, but still it's way cheaper than here. It's way cheaper life. <laughs> yeah, go to uh, Brashov, B R A S O V. Brashov, the mountains in Brashov. That's where I went. Very pretty. I think I'm making this a little smaller. Let me make it a little bit bigger.
can't believe the e the year is almost over. So mind boggling. <clears throat> yeah. Italy is also inexpensive. Hmm, I didn't know that. I thought Italy was just as expensive as everywhere else. Yeah, right now every everybody's raising prices like crazy. Everything's getting more expensive. Making circles is one of the hardest things. Making even circles. Really? Wow. I heard that gas and electricity bills have been going up. Oh my gosh. That's and they just hit you where you can't like where you need, you know? Like that's a need for human survival. It's not even a luxury. It's terrible. Unless you can heat with uh, wood wood fire, wood burning. Get that a little darker on the top, the white part.
Okay, let's take the... pupil in here. Pretty symmetrical. I'm not gonna be so distraught if it's not exactly perfect. Juicing is done. <laughs> Time to clean it. Hi, cleaning. What juicer are you using, Clara? I've been actually thinking about getting back into it. Um, I've been thinking about it, but I just, uh, I don't know. You use a powerful one, because that's another thing. I think the one that I used wasn't very powerful and the uh, the pulp still had juice in it. So I didn't like that. That uh, it, it was kind of wasting fruit. But the super powerful ones are also very expensive. No true bullet. <clears throat> Wild Carpathia. So, who wants to find out about Romania? They should watch uh, Wild Carpathia documentary about 47 minutes. I have not seen it. No lambas with mama. I would see that. I'll take a look. It will make me go want to go back. Or some old, or some fucker door that's I don't know. There I'm gonna put some some old. <laughs> that's why she's making me watch it. <laughs> oh, cool! The pulp comes out dry. Awesome. And how's the cleanup? Is the cleanup super involved? bit of green too. Oh, the paint is starting to dry. <laughs> About 15 minutes. Ah, cleaning up. Oh, it's on YouTube. Yep, a YouTube, the, the documentary. Yeah, I'll take a look. Awesome wait. Actually, it's kind of dry brushing on top of this texture kind of works not bad you can do dry brushing sometimes dry brushing works it gives off some really interesting effects 
I'm a very big fan of wet on wet blending but every now and then I do a dry brush when there's texture underneath and it gives some very nice effects. That's pretty nice. Let's do that on this side too. <clears throat> <laughs> people who are watching you've got to go and watch uh, the grand place where i came from go and watch uh, the wild carpathia documentary or my mom my transylvania mom is gonna come and haunt you or stalk you <laughs> just kidding i'm just kidding Mom, I'm kidding. Not really the same. When I, uh, <clears throat> let me tidy up the eye over there, the white part, it's a bit. blended right I'm running out of space on here I'm running out of space a little bit darker on the on the edges there right on the outside she has not visited me in the US nope she has not come yet do I ever read a page then start again and it's like the first time seeing that text? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's called... It's got to do something with not being able to focus. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm very familiar with that. Although I don't really... Um, like read books very much nowadays i listen more than read 
I just can't sit. Every time I sit down to read, I fall asleep. It's like a reflex now. And uh, so I do listen. I like listening to audiobooks. And even that, so sometimes, you know, if I'm doing something, and that's generally when I when I listen, when I do, so, do something. Um, and sometimes I can't fully pay attention to what I'm listening, and I have to go back and listen again several times sometimes. So, yes, I'm familiar with that. <laughs> Hello friend, hi Queldar, gosh, what an honor, what an honor to have Queldar in the house, finally, took you long enough, I'm almost done here, you know, <laughs> uh, that's a good idea, how are you doing Queldar, it's been so long, been so long. Did Louis finally do that uh, naked painting? <laughs> the honor is yours. Well, we're all honored then. We're honorable people then. <laughs> Maybe I do need to water it down a little bit. So how have you been, my friend? I do like your your drawing. Oh, what drawing? I saw your painting, your painting of the girl face. Do you have a drawing too? Did you put it on... Uh, I need to catch up on Discord stuff too. Because I have not really participated as much as I should or want to rather all right this kind of white is brightening up the, the scene a little bit I <clears throat> Chaotic final weeks before the new year, right? Ah, Rob means the painting. So what you uh, what you doing? What you up to? Are you getting ready for the new year? Like strategizing and stuff? Because if that's the case, then I need to do that too. Like plan, plan the new year. I have not done yet. Maybe more, more, brighter, a little bit brighter. Are you celebrating with, uh, with family or friends, Quelder? 
And how about you, Clara and Rob? Nor with, uh, yeah, we're just celebrating with some friends, probably just keeping it low profile. Ah, <laughs> celebrating with family. <laughs> Your sister's having a party, nice. Cool stuff. Sometimes I miss parties, you know, like parties with people, with fun people. Sometimes I miss that. Don't really do that very much anymore. I want more highlight and more uh, brightness in the middle of the eye here. Me where the where the lightest part would be. All right, let's do that over here. And then I'm gonna give the other eye some varnish. We have eight for Christmas Day. Ooh, avoiding being social naturally means less parties. <laughs> yeah, true, that's true. <laughs> I, I actually am good, I'm actually good. Every now and then I'm like, oh, maybe I miss being social. And then like, I have one party and that time ties me over for the rest of the year. Actually, that's what generally happens. Uh, my husband has, has been having uh, holiday parties with his work and that's uh, a once a year event generally at, at the beginning of the year but since covid that hasn't really happened so maybe that's why i'm feeling a bit itchy because i uh, haven't really been overdoing the drink and maybe that's the problem <laughs> <coughs> social anxiety <laughs> get stressed when there's a group more than five, five people you know what when there's more people sometimes there's less pressure on you because because when there's only five you're always there in the like the center of attention but there when there's more like 20 people you can easily absquatulate into the bathroom and just spend some time there and uh, <laughs> or drink without anybody watching. If there's only p five people, everybody's gonna see how much you drink <laughs> and eat. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing with with finding people you like is a it's a hassle. Where do you even find people that live close to you that don't live over the ocean and far away? right it's difficult all right let's let me just make a suggestion of an eyelid maybe i'll use the liner brush for that <laughs> yeah it's really difficult finding people you like like there are a few a few people actually you know what every every couple of weeks every second friday for example tonight i'm having my uh, acrylic pouring workshop 
at Amanda Studio. It's the last one of the year. And then, uh, so we have the teaching part. And then when that's over, we generally have like the after party where it's just Amanda and me and Paul. And we just hang around and clean up and drink and sometimes eat. But mainly we talk. And that's really fun. I think I should make that a little bit lighter. And a little watery because this paint is not flowing. Not flowing as well as I want it to flow. Five is your max. Oh. <laughs> you gotta have some weirdos as lightning rods. Yeah, you gotta have weirdos. You get anxious when there are side conversations. Oh, uh, I see. But sometimes I feel bad I can't concentrate on what everyone is saying. That also is true. Uh, I can see that. And sometimes, you know what the thing is? Sometimes you don't know what conversation to take part of. And you realize that both conversations are really not up your game. Like they're both boring, but you got kind of have to choose one. And it's like, am I gonna go for the for the lady conversation where they're just gossiping or doing something completely boring? And sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe the guy conversation is a little more interesting, even though not that much. <laughs> <coughs> That's good to have a friend like that, Qualder. <laughs> Maybe that's why I disappear too when there's more than five. All right, let's just, I'm actually just procrastinating doing this part because this is the fidgety part. Ah. <laughs> want to mess it up Sometimes even when you're sitting at a table with five people, you'll find that there can be multiple conversations. All right, let's just, I don't know about, about the lower eyelid there. <coughs> I'm gonna do the upper eyeliner part. Like maybe I should stabilize this camera so it doesn't keep refocusing. <laughs> um, you're brave enough to go to an art gallery Oh, that's awesome. Congrats, Rob. That's very good. Oh, that's really nice. What a what an inspiration. We should all do that. Oh, I've been thinking about doing art galleries. Just I don't know which art gallery or I'm not sure if my I mean I don't know if I have a style or if I even have a series, <coughs> a cohesive series, I'm not sure. 
And I know I have one, but I'm not sure if that's my best work. Maybe I'm just procrastinating. Maybe I'm just uh, excuses, excuses, you know? But that's very good, Rob. Good luck. You put yourself down too much? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe you're a beginner, but your standard is a little higher. That's why you don't think you're good enough. You know? But that's good to have high standards. It means that you're aiming high. Having low standards is not good. You gotta have high standards. And that's why a lot of artists thinks, think they, their work sucks because they wanna be much better. And that is the key to getting better thinking that your work sucks consistently no it's also good to to celebrate what you've done as well because doing it doing it is winning too so whatever you've done it's always at a level that can be improved no matter how experienced you are <coughs> And, uh, you know, looking back and seeing and thinking that your past work is shit, that's a very good sign that you are improving. So you should always look back, you know, a year, two years and say, ugh. The Northeast Art Collective. Nice. Sounds very wholesome. Newcastle, England. Cool. I'll have to look up your, your accent too. Very curious now. I love English accents so much. So much. So I said I'm listening. I listen to audiobooks. I mostly listen to Terry Pratchett books. Uh, they're narrated by Stephen Briggs. He's got the best voice. The best voice for narration. I love his accent and I love all the voices that he does. So many voices, so many accents. Really awesome. If you look back at your art and you feel like it's better than what you create now, uh, it means that maybe you you stop doing um you stop playing on your strengths and maybe you started experimenting with other things that you still haven't uh, managed to that level where you were before maybe you've been experimenting with other techniques or other art supplies you know but i think watercolors i don't think you're it's not as good. I've seen a recent watercolor portrait that you did and it's very good, Clara. Maybe you haven't practiced? I'm not sure. Or maybe you just didn't use a good reference photo, you know? But, yeah. I, I've been through that, like last year when I did all of those uh, unboxings and all of those things, my, my things were kind of crappy. Um, like the watercolor things and the pen colored pencils and all of that, they weren't very good art. All right, let's see this. Not really close, but maybe to you, because I can't distinguish Australian accents, but apparently they are different. <laughs> Jordi 
similar to Manchester. Uh, I want to learn oil painting too. I have oil paints. They've been waiting for me to do them. You can be in the zone when making art and um, when that happens, your art is better than average. Yeah, I agree. All right, I need a little container. Hang on, I'll be right back. I need a container from, for the, um, what's it called? Oh, actually, maybe I can just use this. Oh. Yeah, I'll just use this little, this little jar. Oops. Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. I'm almost out of this uh, gloss varnish. But thankfully, I have a little bit left. I think it's going to be just enough to do these eyes. I could also do resin, but I don't have, uh, I don't know how to mix such a little amount of resin. And maybe, maybe I'll experiment with it later. Who knows, but let's see. I just, I'm just curious to see if this gloss varnish will do. It might just do. And if I feel like it needs that shine i might add the shine but if it's shiny already maybe it's not gonna need that oh gosh i got a booger okay this varnish is has been sitting for quite a while hmm the show vera Northumberland. <laughs> I don't know that show either. I think oh, it's not bad. I'm gonna definitely gonna need multiple coats for this. The overhead light is on. It's okay. Northumberland is very close. Jordy. I'll have to look that up. I'm very curious. And accents in general are pretty fun. They're pretty cool. I think I should lighten up the white part a little bit more. I feel like it's too dark still. Did you watch that design video? Jordy Shaw. <laughs> no, we're not gonna judge you. Don't worry. I think in every <laughs> in every culture, there's some some people who make you 
embarrassed to be part of it. You're like, please don't judge me by those people. The, the texture that you can see through. I'm just gonna try for, and I like the texture on the on the iris, but I don't like the texture on the sclera part. I feel like it should be an even blend. So let me just try and do a blend here. See if I can do that. smooth wet on wet like accent <laughs> what <laughs> oh accent are you uh, are you referring to the uh, the Romanian band accent Qualdar please don't <laughs> how long do I stream for generally like two or three hours <laughs> you're crashing from your coffee yes you always make another cup here I'll drink some for you I also have a cup of coffee. Mm. It just dribbled some on me. <laughs> See, I needed it. Um, yeah, I have a lot of coffee. It's like paying your credit card debt with another credit card. <laughs> it's worth it though. Only it's delicious credit card. Only you bought uh, coffee with that credit card. So it's all worth it. <laughs> yeah, we sold you. You're sold. Um, but today, to answer your question, Rob, I think I'll be, uh, I'll be on for another, you know, 10, 20 minutes for as long as it takes for me to uh, finish this, the eye, and then just varnish it. Yeah, generally it's like two, three hours, depending on the project. <laughs> You've been addicted to watching the coffee expert guy. Ah, there's a coffee expert guy? Where? Where is this coffee expert guy? You know, the best coffee I've ever drank, I've ever drunk, drank, <laughs> the best coffee I ever made um, is the siphon coffee. Oh, it's really the best way to make coffee. The reason why I'm not still doing that is because uh, I broke about 
two of them, about two siphons, and they're not very cheap. <laughs> that's the only reason why we stopped doing the siphon, but that's really the best, cleanest, crispest coffee, like the cleanest taste you've you've had. Like it's even better than Starbucks, and that's you know saying a lot. Um, I could say a little bit of a coffee snob. Um, we all have our our weaknesses. But, well, it's not a weakness, what, is, what am I talking about? We all have our things that we like in life. And, uh, yeah, the, the siphon, nothing compares with the siphon. Maybe espresso compares with the siphon, but a pour over. Mm, um, used to stream wood turning for two to three hours and I was so tired afterwards. <laughs> <coughs> um, sometimes I delete my lives too. Some of them are not very good. Some of them I say things where, I, where later I'm like, ugh, why did I say that? Or uh, I mean, just sometimes things don't turn out very awesome and I'm like, eh, it's not worth keeping. But uh, generally I keep them. Starbucks does siphon coffee? Huh. You think a pour over makes a great coffee? Though, if not better than the siphon? I don't know about that. I can't agree with that, Clara. Uh, a pour over will never match the siphon method. It depends on the taste. If you like it, you know, who am I to say that, uh, your taste buds tell you otherwise, you know, but right now we do, what do we do? Um, I think it's a pour over, you know, we have the little, it's kind of like an hourglass shape and then you put the filter on the top with the coffee and you pour over basically and then the, it goes down. Yeah, I think it's a pour over. It's very good, but I think the siphon is still just just a little bit better. It depends on the coffee too. Um, the reserve does, not the standard stores. Ah. You went to Milan? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's hilarious, Rob. Oh, it's hilarious. You know, every time I say Rob, I think of this uh, Terry Pratchett character. He's he's a Mac Mac Fiegel, which is kind of like a a pixie, only it's a pix pixie. There are these little blue men. They are very violent and and very strong. And. Uh, <laughs> and one of them is called Rob Anybody. Uh, I all, always want to say Rob Anybody. Rob Anybody. They also rob people. Very teeny, very, very cute little uh, group of people. All right. I think. Let me. Should I do some more highlights? I feel like the eyes still need. Pupils still need some some attention. The method of brewing isn't as important than other factors. <laughs> <laughs> and they have these very cute little accents they actually have their own uh, language the Mac Mac Fiegels they have their own language well, they 
very funny. No, we just watched. I think we started watching uh, the new um, whoa, 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 whoa. that movie Willow. We started watching the show Willow, and there were these little characters. No. No, it was in the movie Willow, I think, because it was a very, the old, yeah, the old movie Willow. There are these tiny little sprites, tiny little elvish, elvish creatures, and they were very much like the Nagmak Feagles, only not as cool as the Nagmak Feagles. What kind of graphite pencils you should use for bark drawings? <laughs> Bronchitis is hardcore. That's really nice, Eddie. A little bit of what you could... Yeah, bronchitis is awful. I'm still recovering, I think. My daughter's still coughing like a... It's awful. We've been sick. There's something definitely going around that she got like a month and a half ago. And I'm still having this residual cough and she's still coughing. It's awful. Two brownies, the brownies, right. Um, I don't, I don't think it's H. I think it's like, it's either HB or 2B is something softer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I think, um, I watched some videos and these, you know, drawing, oh shoot, these drawing experts, they were saying that you should use 4B when drawing, 4B for, I think the paint is still wet, um, but yeah, maybe ask Louis, Louis is the person to ask, yeah, okay. Okie dokie, you're picking up the canvases? Thank you. I switched to a softer brush. <laughs> you made a video? I didn't see it, Clara. Very opinionated about the matter. <laughs> All you've had today is coffee and juice. Wow. Nice. It's good. Although, when are you gonna start eating? Are you doing intermittent fasting? Because that's really healthy. It's really healthy. I used to, I used to do that, but then I got lazy. I used to do a lot of things that are good for you, but then I got lazy with a lot of them. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> so you drink more juice and coffee. Remember the, from the, the devil wears Prada? lady was sh saying that uh, she just doesn't eat until she feels like she's gonna faint and then she has a little cube of cheese <laughs> don't question it Qualder. she's she'll do it until she she thinks it'll she knows what she can take i'm sure sometimes you just have to fast you know Sometimes you just have to not eat for a while. So I'm gonna give these, give these a few coats, but I have to let them dry in, in between. Right now I'm not doing what I say that I should do. I'm just doing it right away, but I'll let the bigger one dry a little bit more. 
so yeah next next stream i think that'll be next friday next stream i will um either finish either finish those two paintings or start a new painting i don't know yet but anyway these are the eyes and uh they're i don't know not as good as they could be but i'll see what sam thinks and i might add something to them i might um, make them a little better i mean it's a, th my little pony how much can you expect of my little pony maybe i'll add some veins <laughs> actually i think i like this one better that it's a little redder on the sides on the edges than this one i might still go and add more redness see how this has that redness on the edges i might do that to this but i have to wait until the varnish dries <coughs> so uh, <laughs> i cook clara gotta cook go eat your cuba cheese parmigiano reggiano no cheddar is better <laughs> aged aged cheddar thank you rob i i appreciate it so i'll see you guys i'll see you next week um i'm very very excited i was able to do this today and hopefully i'll be doing it a little more um a little more consistently for the next couple of weeks before i get back into the before i have another commission so thank you so much and um, have a wonderful weekend and uh, stay creative. Can't wait to see what you guys are doing. And I'm gonna go and check out that uh, uh, that accent. <laughs> Thank you, Gwaldar. Thanks, Clara. Thanks, Rob. See you guys later.